we roosted these turkeys in here last night there's a whole pile of them i drove down this uh old road here and i got down in here and there was a long beard strutting on the hen in the middle of the road so i backed off and i talked to another guy last night that was also listening in here uh, these turkeys were i mean if you'd have been anywhere in the vicinity you'd have heard them because there's a whole lot of them right here i think it's a bunch of jakes and a gobbler or two anyway we come in here early this morning pulled in right where i heard him from last night and then this guy comes driving by us <laughs> drove right by us it's a dead end road and the turkeys are roosted right off the ridge right off the side of the road i mean 100 yards from it guy drove right by us down there and then five minutes later he turned around and drove right back out <laughs> war's been sitting here trying to decipher what he could be doing down there <laughs> i didn't see him in here last night so i don't think he knows those turkeys are there yeah it's not the same guy that I talked to. Mm -hmm. Been warm all week and finally got a cold front yesterday and it's like mid 40s, crystal clear this morning. They're gonna gobble. Be a tetter set up. These turkeys should be roosted right out in front of my gun here within 100 yards or so. We got out on this ridge where I heard him at and it's wide open. So me and Ted dropped over the hill here a little bit. We're up towards the top of this pole. We found the two widest trees here that we could see. These turkeys ought to be waking up any time. It's straight over. Could have. Could have been at least. Could have been him or could have been that guy I talked to last night that heard him down there. Yeah. Dipped through and got on the back side of him. He might not have even known we were hunting. Not much we could have done there because they went the opposite direction. Yeah, I mean. We were in hot pursuit when they got shot. Uh -huh. Same guy, you think? White truck, yeah, I think so. No, it's a different guy. Just shot him right in the edge of the road. Let's, let's go talk to him real quick. Hey, hey y'all. Right. luck, huh? Congrats. I, we, didn't, we were starting to turn around, and Ted's like, he's got a turkey he's stepping on back here. Yeah, I am. Uh, <laughs> sitting there waiting, couldn't hear nothing. And all of a sudden, he hammered, and then as soon as I started to move around, he hammered where I was. <laughs> and sat there and waited, waited, and then he just kind of moseyed on in. I'll be darned. Cool. That's pretty awesome, man.
just gonna drive up there. Purchase and then go back up. Or I'm gonna park and just go up this hill. I gotta get off the well, road. I'll just put it in neutral and what do you think he's gonna hear it? <laughs> he got twice on his own. Me and Ted, he just gobbled again, he's up top. Yep. He had no luck so far this morning. Somebody come in and shot the turkey that we were on. So we changed locations, drove down the road, and we got out up there, called, and found a bunch of tracks in the road. Didn't hear anything right there. So we drove down the road a little further and hopped out. Heard, heard this bird gobble, he's up on this ridge right above us.
I just don't like that we're right on the cap. I don't like our position for calling, do we? Yeah. I'm trying not to spook him. He's coming back. Literally coming right through this air.
안녕히세요 <웃음> 200 yards in the truck. <laughs> I think we killed the turkey that was the lone yeah, gobbler. Yeah. I think, because he was gobbling up here. This is the one we heard from down below on the road. And it's just, it's this big spine ridge with the road that runs along the bench. So when they're up top on this ridge or just over the back side, they can be two or 300 yards to the road and you can't hardly hear them. Well, we, we just, just called up the road. We, we had just, yeah, we yeah. just called up top. And Ted's, I walked back to the truck and Ted's like, dude, there's, there's sign all over right here. And like there's strut marks in the road, there's big gobbler tracks everywhere. It's like, man, they're here for sure. But nothing answered up there. So we pulled down here and we're like, this looks like a good spot to get out and listen. We hopped out. We could just barely hear him up here gobble. That's what we were just talking about earlier this morning. It's like they're in these big wads. Yes, they're just, they're wadded up still. It's, it's weird. But it, they've been like that all week. We did the old slingshot move on him. In these open situations like that, Ted looked down here, he's like, there's a big double trunk down there we might be able to hide by. So we got up there about 30 yards away and we called like two or three times to where they'd answer. I mean, loud enough that they, they knew for sure that we called from up there. Then we looped around and got right there and they all come right to that oh, yeah. spot. Perfect. Did you, were you filming the first ones when they came through? Yeah. I, we thought they were Jake's. The first one was definitely a Jake. First one pops through and Ted's like, Jake. I'm like, well, I'm assuming the second one's Jake. The second one pops through at 40 yards and <laughs> it's a big long beard. I'm like, that's a long beard. And he, I think he just seen me. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe they all just came. They stood up and they just came right back over. Yeah, they were preoccupied with him. They went over there and started running him around. And then he'd come through and, and I could hear him walking. And Ted's like, oh, to the right, like 20 yards. But we were in such a good hide right there. We had that big double trunk with our drapes. And then we propped this other limb up there with all them leaves on it. And Ted was just hiding behind that little vine. And I waited until he went behind a tree and then I moved to him. 
and he ne he never knew we were here. Yeah. He was going to that spot. Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't know. Never heard that first long beard. Yeah, that's fun. Dude, that was freaking awesome. <laughs> Oh God, look at that. They wrecked him. <laughs> yeah, they spent some time on him. Oh, Ted. Oh my God. <laughs> That's old son right there. That's the fun part about it. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> That's old son. Yeah. That's old lone gobbler That's the man up there. right there. That's the man. No wonder they were so pissed at him. He's probably been whooping up on him. He probably has. He got slapped right in the side of the head. <laughs> Look, he come up from behind that tree. I don't know, 25 yard shot. No, that was perfect. That is, I mean, when you actually look back there, it, we weren't sure about it when we were sitting there, but that's a pretty good hide back there. Oh yeah. A lot of stuff in the way. These woods are pretty hard to come by too, that we've been, where we've been hunting at. Seems like, just like somewhat thick, you know? Yep. They got to flogging him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's a long spur turkey there. Yeah, that's a limb hanger there. That is a limb hanger. Heck yeah, dude. That's awesome. Been waiting for one of them all week. <laughs> <laughs> he would have that last feather if his buddy wouldn't have come up and flogged it out of him. <laughs> He's got that white barring on the middle ones. Yeah. That, I would surmise, is an old turkey right there. Get 11 inch beard, probably. Oh, yeah. A big old turkey. That's awesome. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That fires me up right there. Oh, right here to the right. <laughs> Just come over there looking. We just got in a whole mess of them right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just kind of by accident, driving down the road and looking in the in the middle of the gravel road, and there's some strut marks there. You just never know with turkeys. Sometimes you kill them two miles back. Sometimes you kill them 200 yards from the road. Go meet up with Brother Hayden. There's our hide right there. We got that little dead limb next to it with a bunch of leaves in it. And Ted was hiding just right behind that little vine in that hole. And then we were both covered up with these drapes. These are just like, I don't know what brand they are. They're just old army surplus drapes. My buddy Riser turned me on to these a couple years ago. You can find them in a lot of different places, but they come in real handy. They're not shiny. That's just like that olive drab, tan brown co color. Hayden's down here in the truck hooting at us. <laughs> But these work really good for hiding because you can throw them over you and another person and then throw leaves and everything else up on them. Yeah, we pretty much use those every hunt. The yeah, we use them. If we got time to get them out, we use them. Just helps break up your outline a little bit. You don't have these two knees sticking up in front of you. You just sort of blend into the tree. Anyway, we better go show Mr. Krimmer our harvest, Ted. I think he'll be excited. I think he will. Yeah, well, uh, we had, as you know, we had kind of a hectic morning to start, but everything ended up turning out, you know? It pretty good. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Longsburg turkey. Heavy one. Shot him right there. It's pretty woods up in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this hunt. Pretty good one out here. The weather's been throwing a wrench in things all week. And this morning, things totally changed. That was the that was the thing I was looking for. It was like, is this cold front gonna shut them up or is it gonna turn them off? Mm -hmm. And it was a couple days this week we were near record highs. It was like high 80s, 88, 89 degrees. Oh, yeah. Mid 80s, pretty consistently. Humid, just super hot. Turkeys weren't really gobbling a whole lot. They were gobbling a little bit in the morning, first thing, but not much up in the day. Sound we, was just carrying way further today too. Oh so. man, like this week with all that humidity, yeah. I, when I would owl hoot over a bottom like this, you wouldn't hear it echo off of those other ridges because that humid air was just killing. 
it wasn't letting that sound travel at all. And this morning, all that humidity's gone. It's nice and crisp. It's 20 degrees cooler today than it was yesterday. And all these turkeys were going up high on these ridges this morning, and gobbling off there. There's gotta be something to that. Like they have to just know mm -hmm. on them pretty weather days when it's calm and the humidity levels down, they can get up and they can be heard by other turkeys from much, much further away. So yeah. they go up high like that. Yeah, otherwise they're just wasting their time going up there when nothing's gonna hear them. And yep. all the turkeys are down in the bottoms anyways. Yep, finally got a pretty day and they were going this morning. That's it for this one, guys. Appreciate y'all watching. We can get this bird to the house and cut him up and cook up some turkey nuggets. <laughs>